Let's get right into the episode. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Crystal Palace career mode. This, my friends, is episode Dalavumpu Tatlo. That is apparently 23 in Filipino. Let me know in the comments down below what is episode 24 in your language. I'm pretty sure it won't be harder to pronounce than this one right here. Coming back into the Crystal Palace career mode guys, we are currently in that second position right behind West Ham. Ever since Nakajima has made his way into the starting lineup, the team has gone up to a level that we haven't seen so far. The team is performing absolutely amazing and now in order to show you guys how well these guys are performing, let's go into the fan objectives. In the fan objectives, you guys can see in terms of the goal machine, this is something that you guys can't see right now, but now you can see it actually on screen, hopefully. Joao Felix is in a fifth position. He has seven goals. He needs more goals to come to the top of that list. We need Joao Felix to be the guy because Rafael Leao is not going to be it. Wilfried Zaha, I don't believe, is going to be it. Joao Felix has to become the top scorer this season. Otherwise, I have to do five Fortnite dances on camera, and I definitely don't want to do that. The midfield maestro, Joao, currently has gotten himself four assists out of 15. There's a long way to go, but I need him to step up his game a little bit in terms of assists. He's scoring goals, which is nice, but we also do need him to get some assists. Do it like Henri. Zero. We have absolutely... Can you see this? Zero with uh, do it like Henri and baby Shevchenko though. We have nine. Tigankov has been playing some absolutely amazing football. I love it. The powerhouse objective. We are now on two out of five. Yes, we have managed to score yet another beautiful, beautiful goal with Andreas Pereira. It seems like that objective was just made for him. He's the one scoring both of the goals so far. And it keeping it clean, I have gone through the whole entire season apart from the preseason tournament guys we are currently on six clean sheets out of 20 and we are halfway through the season so we need more clean sheets hopefully starting in this episode in this episode guys it is the league's top scorer pierre emerick Aubameyang up against our top scorer joao felix this episode is hopefully going to be hyper yes hyper please go ahead and hit that like button on this video let's get this video to 4000 like it is four zero 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 i want you guys to do that for me so please show some support keep showing your love on this series and we will keep posting it there he is the top scorer of the league pierre emerick Aubameyang. he is up against joao felix it is a bright day arsenal playing at home can we come out of this with a good result because if we do win we go back up into the first position in the league it would be absolutely important for us to put up a good performance sako wait we have sold Sako to Arsenal and he's the captain now? That just shows me the state of that team. I don't know how good Arsenal will be, but if Sako is your captain, it can't be that good. Well, I can tell you one thing. The starting lineup of Arsenal so far doesn't really scare me. Who is that guy to the left? Saka. Who is Sabali? Who is... Well, what's going on with this team? This Arsenal team isn't looking good, boys. This could be a good opportunity for us to come up with an amazing performance. Aubameyang clearly the star man in this Arsenal lineup. Van Bissaka, Joao from outside the box. Let's try it. It's a good try from Joao. Ospina with a good save though. We're going to be crossing this one towards Sander Berger because he's six foot five and he's up against a smaller opponent here. Sander, it is Ospina. Joao running through. Ah oh, man, it could have been the moment where Joao scores and gets one back in the battle for the top scorer. Shoya though gets it in. Nakajima in there. He stops. Nakajima still going. Nakajima still passes it. Zaha. Oh, it's a good save. Again, the angles that I'm taking the shot from are not good enough. There's a cross though. It is Strakosha. Thankfully, he's back into the team. He's very important for the squad, man. I really missed him. What am I doing? Oh my god. If that went in... I should have done all the forfeits at the same time. Like, genuinely, I would have deserved to do all the forfeits at once. That is ridiculous. Thank God it didn't go in. Zaha, though. Zaha. Pushing forward. Zaha. With the El Tornado. Gets it onto his right foot. Oh, it's his left foot. A 
And what a goal it is! But Fitzaha destroying Arsenal. Let's go! What a strike! <laughs> Take a look at that beautiful goal one more time. Look at this. Wilfried Zaha toying with the defense of... Oh my god. That has to be the best goal we have scored so far. That has to be. Guys, that is the goal of the season. Absolute beauty of a goal from Zaha. With the El Tornado, the flick up with his knee, and then the volley on his weak foot. Yes! Let's go! What a goal! That would be a great title. Goal of the season. Oh my god! We bring it into the middle. Sanda. Shoya. Shoya with the run. Joao Felix with the assist. If this actually turns into a goal, this is the moment. Show it. Shoya. Nakajima shoots. It's a deflection off the defender. Good run though. Nanda is now pushing forward. I think Arsenal are on pressure after possession loss. And that is a beautiful ball into Shoya. Shoya. Stops, still goes past the defender. Shoya, Shoya, go on, pass, shoot, shoot. No, Joao hits the post. Here comes Arsenal with a good move. It is Aubameyang with the cross, and it could have been El Nini, but luckily we do get away with it. Arsenal with a big chance right there. We're gonna move on though with the counter attack right here from our team. Wolfried Zaha is making that run. Zaha wants one more. He wants one more. He wants one more! Oh, he hits the crossbar, man! I did the same thing one more time, and this time it looked even better. Man, it was green timed. It could have been such a beauty of a goal. Imagine that one. Bouncing off of the crossbar and going into the back of the net. We have found Zaha's purpose. It's beautiful goals. Good passing. Shoya now through down the left-hand side. He's up against a couple of players here. Shoya, as always, with some beautiful dribbling. Shoya still going through. Passes it into Joao. Joao in a good position. I should have taken the shot. My mistake. Arsenal now pushing forward with Alba. He has support in the middle. Just waiting. And it is the Kosha. Yes. Clean sheet. Yes, boys. Clean sheet. And the goal of the season against Arsenal in a very, very competitive game. But I gotta say, Strakosha, I'm impressed, mate. I'm absolutely impressed. That save that he made right there towards the late minutes. Do we have that save in here? Yes, we do. That was absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe he actually got it done. Aubameyang with the perfect cross. And normally, from this position, with the shot error that I have on my opponent... They always score, always, but somehow Strakosha makes this save, great reaction from him, and that gets us the clean sheet and also the win against Arsenal. Props to that man. Now that we have put in an absolutely powerful performance against our opponent's Arsenal, we can jump into the game against Auxerre right here. We will have our first team playing in this one. I'm really hoping that we don't pick up any injuries. And after that, boys, it will be the month of December, which means we are very, very close to making it into the January transfer window and you guys in the last episode had to tell me something about Rafael Leao and it seemed like a lot of you just like me are loving Nakajima and the team and Wolfie Zaha in this episode has shown why he should be in that striking position so Rafael Leao things are not looking good for you and Cavett Lewin I will get you to score a goal, I promise mate, you will score a goal for us anytime soon, but um, Rafael Leao, it seems like most of you guys would be okay with the fact if he does get sold, he just hasn't been good enough for us, and sadly, he didn't turn out to be the player that we wanted him to be, so in the future, we can definitely let him go and uh, bring in someone else into the team, but I guess we already have someone else, which would be Kavad Lewin, and Zaha would be in a striking position, so it would just be a little bit more money coming into our team so i would not mind that at all we will probably make massive massive profit on rafael leal because we didn't buy him for that much money so let's jump in there against oxair and see what we can do here we go then boys they have drawn and gotten two losses in their last three matches this should be a good performance from our team i'm expecting joao felix to step up in simulations as he always does no it's tigankov let's go tigankov i will take that zaha scores as well 
beautiful, beautiful result right here. It is 4-0. Zaha scores two goals and Nakajima gets himself another one. The front three seems quite deadly at the moment. Joao Felix this time around could just chill out. He got subbed off in the 46th minute. Hudson Odoi got some playing time. Great to see our team win against the Europa League opponents because that takes us to nine points in the group stages and that definitely helps us to make it through into the next round. Now, we have Nottingham Forest as our next opponents in this month of December. We will have to sim two games again. I'm guessing, yeah, we will definitely sim this one. We'll sim the Middlesbrough game as well. And then we'll start playing against the opponents right here. All of them probably uh, we will be playing against a part. Actually, we have a lot of home games here. We do have a lot of home games. I will definitely play the game against Eintracht. That is for the first position in the group stages of the Europa League. So I definitely will be playing that one. I will be playing against Manchester United as well. But these first couple of games that we have ahead of us, they shouldn't be that dangerous for us for now. Now, Youth Squad Monthly Report. Let's see, does anyone else get cut? So far, I only see absolutely magnificent potential and I love it. I absolutely love it. These two only have 88, but 88 is good enough. If it stays at 88, I'm completely fine with that. So here we go then in the match against Forest. I'm expecting a victory. There's no way we are not getting a victory right here. Sander Berger scores. Come on, let's make it more than just one, boys. Hopefully. We can get a goal for Tigankov. That would be nice because we do need him on scorer points. So far though, it's only 1-0. Nandes steps up and scores. And that's what I'm saying, man. Lots of you guys seem to underestimate the fact that Nandes and Sander Berger have a massive impact on how this team plays. Defensively, they are playing really well. And on top of it, hold on a second. How many clean sheets do we get in this episode so far? We played against Arsenal. Clean sheets. Let me write that down because uh, it's hard to keep track of this. So now we have seven. Against Auxerre, we have won 4-0. That's eight. And then against Nottingham, it's 2-0. That's nine. Let's go. Three clean sheets in one episode. What is this? Is this a dream? This, this must be a dream. Now, we're going to be playing against uh, Middlesbrough. I, I just desperately hope. Please, guys, can we lose? I would really love the fact... Uh, if we can, I would love the fact that we can lose right here against this opponent. I genuinely don't want to make it into the next round. Punchian, you're going to come in. Please, please, I beg. Crystal Palace, turn it down a notch. Lose against Middlesbrough. All right, I want to get out of this um, Carabao Cup. We are playing at home though. So I'm guessing it could actually turn out to be a freaking victory here. They are forcing me to go ahead and win games here. I'm gonna skip it straight away so that we don't sit in simulations for too long. Yes, we have lost, come on. Yes, boys, finally, we are out of this terrible, terrible cup that just keeps messing up my fixtures. No one cares about the Carabao Cup. We are going for bigger things. We are going for the Premier League title. We're going for the FA Cup title. We're going for the Europa League title. Who cares about the freaking, what's it called, Carabao? No one wants that. I just saw something. I just saw something very special. Hey, yes, boys. I love that. I absolutely love that. Take a look at it right here. It should be right here on the top of your screen. Where is it? Give it to me. Come on, give it to me. There it is. Nakajima, player of the month. Totally deserved. He definitely earned that award right there. How good has he been? Let's take a look into how well he has done for our team since he joined us. 18 games, nine goals, two assists. Props to this young man. He is doing an absolutely amazing, amazing job for our team so far. 81 rated, beast, absolute beast. Let's take a closer look at the league table because why? Because it looks beautiful, because Crystal Palace is at the top. We have worked our way up there, boys. We have earned our position in this league. And that is something that I'm very, very proud of. Um, West Ham on 28 points, Manchester United on 27, Arsenal on 24. Our next opponent is Leicester City on 21 points. Leicester City in the past has proven to be a team that I do tend to struggle against, but maybe in this game right here and with the current form of Crystal Palace, we can go ahead and beat them. This is the target. I definitely want to win the league. I'm four points ahead right now. That is a very good position to be in. You can just see 
from the inconsistency of all the other teams. Manchester United, out of 14 games, only 8 wins, 3 draws, 3, dra uh, three um, losses. Arsenal, 7 wins, 3 draws, 4 losses. That is just not consistent enough for some of these big teams as my camera has turned off as we always do. Well, we are up against one of our former career mode teams. In the season where Leicester City actually won the Premier League title, halfway through the season at some point we decided to do a Leicester City career mode and that career mode did really well on the channel and it was a career mode that I really, really enjoyed. So I'm really looking forward to see how this game is going to go against one of our former teams in Leicester City. Obviously though, with the current form of the team, with the front three that we have set up right now with Zaha, Nakajima and Tigankov, we have been on another level in terms of performances lately and I love to see that. Hopefully we can keep it up in this game right here. You know me, I tend to struggle against the smaller teams more than I struggle against the big teams. So this could be a very, very interesting. They play in a 4-5-1 formation very very solid back line together with the defensive midfielders so it will be tough to break them down okay okay Leicester City apparently is Barcelona guys I forgot Strakosha already with a good save in the fourth minute that's not the way you want the game to start really um, we need Leicester City to calm down a little and they might just score from this. Yep, they were about to score from that. That's absolutely ridiculous. That was their center back to... What's going on? <laughs> What's actually going on? They are flicking the ball up, hitting volleys with center backs onto the crossbar, and then getting another chance. I'm getting absolutely dominated by Leicester City. And this is what I'm talking about. Why am I playing amazing football when I'm up against smaller te against bigger teams? And then when I get when I play against Leicester City, I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do football. Tierney, good steal. Hermoso, Sanda. Sanda plays it back into the middle. Zaha. Zaha, shoot. Zaha, what a strike. Joao Felix with the assist. That is five. That is at least five for Joao Felix right now in this season. And Zaha is the man. Okay, I'm slowly getting there, boys. I'm slowly understanding how to play with Zaha. He is next level. Rafael Leao is nowhere near his level, man. This is amazing passing play. And we scored a first goal in this match, despite them really like completely dominating us in the first couple of minutes. But that technique on the, the first time shots, man, they're just overpowered. Have fun with them. Pass and shoot. Bang. Top bins. Ooh, that's a good ball. Ihenacho, Tierney. Ihenacho still manages to run through. Despite having three people right next to him, he has the composure to just blast it into the top bins. How's that even possible, man? Look at this. I had three people chasing him down and the man still manages to put it in there. That's unbelievable. Okay, it's 1-1. Leicester City, definitely a very good opponent. The clean sheet is sadly gone, but I've already picked up enough clean sheets in this episode, so no worries about that. Tigankov is making that run, as always. Tigankov, every, every time I play in this half where I'm moving towards the right, Tigankov has a lot more ball control and he just gets a lot more passes, basically. Here we go, though. Joao. Joao could be through here. Joao Felix with beautiful play. Joao shoots, it's a deflection off the keeper. We got really close, really, really close there. Nandez, good steal. Joao with a lot of space. Too much, too much space. It's 2-0. And that is, hold on, is that the power hours objective? Did I just score that from outside the box? Please tell me that was outside the box. Please. Yes, it counts. It's a midfielder that scores from outside the box. Let's go. Yes, yes. That makes me so happy. That makes me so freaking happy. That's three. Three out of five so far. I genuinely believed I would not get this one done. But now I'm getting closer and closer to avoiding the forfeits, man. That is great. That is an amazing goal to take us back into the lead. Leicester City have to attack us once again. Is that a goal? No. Oh, this is a goal. That's a goal. I don't even need to do anything. I know it exactly straight away. As soon as I saw that guy over on that side, I knew it. It was happening. There was nothing I could do. There was absolutely nothing I could do. 
absolute joke of a goal. Genuinely. Just look at this, man. I get the ball away with Hermoso. I'm trying to pass it into Nandes. And look at my Strakosha. Where is he running off to? Look at Strakosha. He's running out of the goal. What? We still have plenty of time, which is good. But come on, man. That, that shouldn't be happening. Pereira is going to come into the game. Cavett Lewin gets his chance. Um, I'm going to keep Zaha in the game, though. I'm going to keep him down that right-hand side. And Townsend. Is it Townsend? Do I bring in Townsend? Now, I'm going to go with Dodo for Van Bissaka. He seems a bit tired. Good passing. Nandes over here. Andreas Pereira looking for Cavett Lewin. Andreas Pereira gets it back. Pereira with the skills. He's going to turn it back to Sanda. Sanda can't shoot. Sander can't shoot. He's gonna bring it to Shoya. Shoya, good pass. Beautiful play. Absolutely beautiful play. It is 3-2. It is Andreas Pereira. Boys, enjoy the beauty of this goal. Enjoy it. What a goal. What a goal. I am so satisfied with that one. I can't even explain. And let me be completely honest. I didn't plan to pass it into Pereira. That happened by accident. Thanks, EA. I appreciate you. Here comes Leicester. Leicester with Tomas. It is a good tackle from us at first. It's a good cross. And it is Ducure Strakosha. I am nervous. I really want to keep this lead. And I have a feeling that Leicester City will get at least one more chance. I mean, look at the passing play right there. Okay, well, that is a cross and a goal, isn't it? Yep, that's a goal. Oh, no, it isn't. It isn't. Hold on. Tomas, I'm sliding all over the pitch, trying to prevent this from happening. Madison, you need to calm down, mate. You can't score from there. No, stop, 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 stop. I hear Nacho, and that is Strakosha again. What a save, boys. He is single-handedly getting us these three points. Don't let them attack. Don't let them attack. Yes! It's a win! It's a big win and a clutch win thanks to Strakosha. Once again, he does it, boys. He's the one getting it done for the team. It is three points, two times we have been saved by Strakosha. We were not the better team. Take a look at the stats of this game. We were the worst team in this one, but somehow we managed to win it. And that's all I care about. It's one goal and one assist for Joao Felix in this game, which contributes to both of the objectives, which is beautiful. And of course, the shot from outside the box, making it three objectives that have been helped by Joao Felix for this episode. What a guy. Joao Felix goes up to an 83 rating. His finishing has improved massively. That is for sure. His shot power has helped us big time to score that goal in the last match. Now, as you can see in the Europa League, guys, we are in a very, very interesting position. Frankfurt on 10 points, Alanya Spor on nine. If we manage to lose in the game against Frankfurt, and Alanya Sport beats Oxair, which is very, very possible. It's going to be a bad day for Crystal Palace. It's going to be a very, very bad day. We have to step it up against Eintracht Frankfurt. We have to beat them. As far as I know, in the first match of the group stage, we have actually lost against Eintracht. So I really need a big, big away performance from our team to get us into the next round. But take a look at this. Wolfried Zaha has grown to an 84, Sanda Berge has grown to an 82, Strakosha up to an 83 despite his injury. This team right here boys, this has to be the most fun team I've used in a long long time. Genuinely I'm having so much fun playing with this squad and you can see that in the goal that we scored with Zaha against Arsenal. That goal was something special, something absolutely special. Now. I need you guys to give me players to scout. The January transfer window is right around the corner and we are trying to sell Rafael Leao, which means we will have cash to go ahead and bring in yet another marquee player into our team. So go ahead, let me know who should I be scouting. There's plenty of time for us to scout people and bring them into our team after having them scouted and knowing how their rating is, how much their value is at, if they have release clauses, all of that stuff. Comments down below. Go ham. The transfer window is coming in fast. And hopefully in the next episode, we can start scouting a lot more players. Crystal Palace. 
It is the team to watch right now. It's the most entertaining team on YouTube and hopefully we can carry on with that sentiment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys. Player of the episode is Joao Felix. Take care. Peace.